What is going on everybody? Joe from NDB Aviation. I am back from another Oshkosh EAA Air Venture. This year was a great one. There were a lot of crowds. I was there working for some friends in a company. Now, funny thing is, it was not this company and it was not this company. That's a completely different story altogether. But while I was there, I got to see some really cool things. Every year they have two night shows. Great fireworks show every year. So I got to see the U2 Dragon Lady perform and fly for the first time in my entirety of my life, which is approaching half of a decade at this point already. And I got to tell you, it was fun to see that aircraft fly. After that, I was able to take a quick look and walk around the UPS 747-8 series and my goodness, that thing is huge. It's a big bird. And I did get a chance for the first time to take a look at the Airbus A400M military transport aircraft. Now, to me, that thing is really interesting because it, it's the opposite of the C-17 Globemaster in many ways, very similar in other ways, but again, it's a prop aircraft with some serious horsepower driving those awesome looking props. But one of the things that I got to see, and I don't know if you guys made it the EAA Air Venture or not, if you did, leave some comments in the section below and tell me what you saw that you liked, but something that I want to talk to you guys all about today something that is new and coming to the market. We've already known about it a little bit. I was able to get my hands on, my grubby, dirty hands, and my feet on the Honeycomb Aeronautical Charlie Rudder Pedals. Now these were tucked away inside EAA's Learn to Fly booth tent at AirVenture 2021. Honeycomb was there, partnered with EAA to help out in the Learn to Fly Center. And what they had were the Alpha Yoke, the Bravo Throttle Quadrant, and the Charlie Rudder Pedals underneath. Now, disclaimer, these Charlie Rudder Pedals were prototypes from what I was told. These are not the final run pieces, they are not the final production pieces, they are prototypes, and there are some slight differences that were on the inside of those prototypes. I'm not gonna go into complete details with that, but I will talk about my hands on time, my feet on time, with using the Charlie Rudder pedals at EAA Oshkosh AirVenture 2021 and give you my thoughts about what we might be looking at for a final production run unit as we move forward and hopefully see that sometime this year in 2022. So without further ado, I'm gonna roll some footage above me over here. It'll be some looping footage of what I was able to record. You're gonna see my my dirty shoes and my legs in this photo here. I'm very sorry, hopefully it doesn't offend anybody. And you'll get some stills as well tied in with that for you guys to look at. So there are some really nice features of the Charlie Rudder pedals. We're gonna first start off with the fact that they're using the same basic exterior design that they've used for everything else, the Bravo and the Alpha. It's gonna have some plastic, some very durable plastic, a little bit of metal here and there for the most important parts, of course, and then more plastic. Now, the prototypes that they had there were well constructed. They put up with a lot of wear and tear throughout the air show. And at the end of the week, I saw them, I think Tuesday or Wednesday the first time, played with them then, and I played with them again on Sunday, the last day of the show. I was happy to see that everything was still there working and in working condition, doing well. Um, the overall construction looks solid. I didn't see any negative issues with these prototypes. The prototypes were actually very well constructed and they put up with a lot of abuse. I remember my days when I repped SciTech and we brought rudder pedals, joysticks, flight sticks, everything to the air shows. Sometimes those parts didn't make it through the air show and those were production grade units. These were prototypes at an air show, which is huge. And they went through a lot, a lot of abuse, I bet. Overall though, I like the construction and everything did pretty well from Wednesday to Sunday. All I saw were usual shoe marks on there, which is pretty common for the way they had that setup going. 
Now, it had the similar red lighting that I saw on pretty much the Alpha, and the Bravo really doesn't have the same kind of lighting setup as the Alpha does, but I would take the Alpha lighting and apply that to the Charlie. You know what to expect. Now, the uh, metal foot pads were good for the toe brakes and the rudders themselves. They felt comfortable, they were in a good ergonomic position, and it sounds like this is not something to quote me on, this is something at least it sounds like they're going to do, is the toe brakes will be adjustable. Now, I did not get a complete confirmation. I was discussing that with them in the booth, the, the volunteers, and then also a few of the folks from Honeycomb, and it sounds like the final product will have adjustable toe brakes. However, things may or may not make it to the final run. Hopefully that does, so please don't quote me on that. After the metal toe brakes and the overall rudder pedals, they feel comfortable, they're ergonomic, and the way they move, the overall mechanisms, there were two differences between, there was a difference between each prototype, so I was able to play with both from what I was able to gather. And the centering, the overall feel of those was smooth. There was nothing too restrictive or too loose with the movement. And also tied in with this on the prototypes, which I hope makes it to the final production run, is something we see on the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. We have a tensioner. The tensioner will be able to be applied to the rudder or yaw axes and make it so you have better feel and response or resistance on the Charlie rudder pedals. So hopefully, that continues to the final production run. It sounds like it will, but the Charlie rudder pedals are shaping up to be a really good rudder pedal set that you'll be able to tie in with the Alpha, the Bravo, and whatever else that you have at home. Now, even if you don't have the Alpha or the Bravo and you have some other equipment, the Charlies will be a good complement for your flight sim setup because the overall construction is pretty solid on what I saw on the prototypes. I did get a chance to pick one of the prototypes up and hold it in my hands. They are quite hefty. This is not a light rudder pedal like the Logitech or the CH or even some of the older Cessna, uh, Cessna or the combat rudder pedals from SciTech. Now, the SciTech ones did have those adjustable toe brakes, so I hope that does make it to the final production run if you guys are listening to Honeycomb. But, um, these do have some heft. The Charlie rudder pedals do have some weight to them, which is going to be good. What I think of when I think about the weight that I felt is they will stay stationary, hopefully. Under the Charlie rudder pedals on the bottom, I'm told that most likely on the final run versus what we see on the prototypes or saw on the prototypes, if you guys were there at Oshkosh, they had anti-slip strips. So if it's not on carpet, it should stay in place. And then for carpeted floors, they will have carpet teeth to just keep it in place there. That combined with the weight will be good because then you won't have to worry about your rudder pedals finding a way from here to there. What I do for my old Cytex Cessna rudder pedals, I have tape on the bottom, I have anti-slip tape, and then I also put them in a position where I have a few things around them to hold them in place. For a long time, I was using my kettlebells that I work out with to keep my rudder pedals in one spot. So I've come up with a much better solution, but you have to be creative sometimes when your flight sim peripherals move. But it doesn't look like the Charlies will. So that is my overall impressions of my hands-on and my feet-on time with the Charlie rudder pedals. If you guys have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comments section below. Let me know if you guys were at Oshkosh and what you saw when you were there. And like I said, the Charlie rudder pedals I saw at Oshkosh, they are not final production run. These are prototypes, and I hope that several of these things move forward into the final run. The biggest things that I want to see, well, that same old fit and finish that we know and have come accustomed to for the quality of Honeycomb Aeronautical products. We pay a price for these, and they are quality products. I want to see that continue. Two, I want adjustable tow brakes. I feel that's easily overlooked by other manufacturers. But if we're talking about top realism or sim realism right now at a good price point and at the price point that we can probably expect these to come out at, adjustable toe brakes will be a must. And then three, the other thing that I hope and I really hope it continues from the prototypes into the final run, I like that tensioner idea. The tensioner on the back to give you more resistance on the rudder pedals is huge to me and will make it more realistic for your overall flight sim experience because some people may just fly GA aircraft, 
and need an exceptionally loose setup, and other people might fly larger aircraft that, given a larger aircraft, should have a hand tiller that you're going to use one way or the other, depending on what aircraft manufacturer it is. But it should have a little bit more resistance when taxiing around due to the size and hydraulic systems, and so on and so forth. So I hope those things find their way to the final production run. I think the Charlies are going to be an awesome product, and I'm looking forward to them releasing hopefully sometime in 2022. We'll have to wait and see due to the microchip shortage and other issues with shortages for shipping, like shipping containers and space on cargo ships. So hopefully 2022. Thank you guys for your time. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Talk to you guys again real soon, and hopefully some other stuff from Oshkosh I'll be able to share here on YouTube shortly.